Mila comes out with a picture with a beautiful, beautiful woman, a femme, and I'm assuming they're on, they're at a hotel, or I don't know where they're at, but they're on a bed, right? With her arm around her. So people are already spreading rumors that Mila is cheating on Chrissy with this woman. I don't know the facts, but Chrissy is finally speaking, and we're gonna listen to what she's got to say. Oh, Chrissy Danielle, Chrissy Danielle. If you and Mila know there ain't nothing going on, then why even speak on it? I feel like you only have to say something if there's some type of truth out there. Not to say that's really happening, I don't know. I didn't look too deep into it because, you know, frankly, I don't really give a fuck about their relationship. People like to watch me react to things like this. Apparently, from my views, I noticed that they'd rather watch me react to some drama. That's what I noticed on my views, I don't know. So let's go by the numbers. Let's go ahead and watch what Chrissy has to say on this subject because I got some coffee. And we might make it a two video day today. This video is called, I found out. Apparently I'm getting cheated on. somebody's gonna see me and be like what the fuck is this bitch doing i'm filming bitch subscribe to me hey you guys welcome back to my channel hi welcome <laughs> back um for today's video i'm just gonna be ranting i have a lot of stuff i want to talk about just because i want to just a disclaimer it is my channel and i do what i want to i do okay. not restrict myself to anything because <laughs> it is my channel and i can do what i want if youtube doesn't restrict me then i'm not restricting myself well good for you girl real quick before i start this video because a lot of stuff that i'm gonna be talking about people are probably gonna be like for what why because i want to <laughs> i'm livid i'm not livid but i'm livid of like having okay i'm not livid i don't know i'm just like so over i need to put some lip gloss on because i'm like sitting here keep licking my lips i'm just over the drama over the majority of anything that has to do with my relationship and youtube it's just really frustrating even though i did have like some crazy plans and stuff i wanted to do this year but it's like a lot of stuff is restricting me and it's just like oh yeah this just like brings the shine to my lips it brings out the brown <laughs> i want to do a lot of stuff this year the more stuff happens the more i just don't want to which probably sounds dumb but i mean it's just like what's the point i got my starbucks by the way i just realized i still have my seatbelt on i would have been talking this whole <laughs> video on my seatbelt on i would have been pissed and that'd I'm be like funny all the way up here <laughs> let's go one thing I want to say before I say anything else, a lot of people, when they look at relationships from the outside, and I'm just talking to anybody, not even just me, which a lot of this stuff is going to pertain to me, but this specifically is pertaining to everybody. You judge their relationship on how you would be in your own relationship, or you not even judge, but mm. criticize mm. or like comment what you would do or what you wouldn't do in your own relationship for somebody else's relationship, which... Hold on. Am I just about to agree with Chrissy Danielle, this boring ass YouTuber? Yes, I, girl, I actually agree with you. 100%. For some reason, people like to judge other relationships off of their own or off of what they would want in a relationship. Every situation is different. Everybody is different. So when it, okay, let's say this. A relationship consists of two people, correct? two different individuals that were raised differently, probably different cultures, different national nationalities, different races, uh, different beliefs, morals, values, and they come together because they love each other and for whatever reason they connect and they both have a mutual agreement of how they want the relationship to be. Whatever works for that relationship does not mean that it has to be the same with your relationship or their relationship. For example, there's open relationships. They're okay with dating other people still. Okay, but in my relationship, I sure as fuck am not okay with it. So my relationship, that ain't gonna happen. Doesn't mean their relationship is any less or any worse than ours or any better than ours. It's just different. And as long as the two people in the relationship are okay with however they have their, their agreement of what they see the relationship to be, then that's all that matters. Everybody in the outside world need to shut the fuck up. Need to shut the fuck up. If they don't pay their bills, if they don't help them in any, in any way, shape, or form and with life in general, 
if they're not fucking sleeping with that person at night, waking up with them in the morning, then shut the fuck up and mind your business. That's all I have to say. Okay, back to the video. I don't like, I have a couple things that I want to say about my relationship that people feel like they can put their two cents in. Which, me putting my relationship on my social media is basically giving the public to say whatever they want. Which true. is very true. true. And it is also giving me a chance to say whatever I want. So don't think just because you can comment, I can't comment back and say something. Okay. So one thing was, and I made a video about this when it happened. I went to Indiana before Christmas. And I went out with my best friend, which I had a fucking blast. Like, I had so much fun. I woke up the next day, didn't even look at my snaps till like 7 p.m. because I was just so embarrassed because I knew, like, when I'm drunk, I snap anything. I will legit snap <laughs> anything. Just because I just want to, like, show what I'm doing, I guess. I don't know. So, just like anybody else on this planet. I had a blast. I had so much fun. Me and my best friend and her husband and her husband's sister, sister-in-law, we all went out. It was super fucking fun. We went to Frost's in Chicago. If you've been there before, then you know why I was so lit. They have stripper poles there. I see a stripper okay. pole and I instantly am locked. I'm from the Chicago land area. There's lots of clubs in the city. I have not tried that place out. I might give it a try. Like, I need to get on that. Except at a strip club. <laughs> when I, first of all, before I was even drunk, I was on it. I, Cause like, what, why not? <laughs> it's just like, and it was at a table. It wasn't like, it was out in the open where people can like be touching on me and stuff. It was at a table. Cause her sister-in-law bought a table. Thank you to her for that. I don't know if I said thank you already, but thanks girl. Cause <laughs> that made my night. Oops. She got this table and basically like, I was on it. It's whatever. Everybody see my snap. My girl see my snap everybody was dming my girlfriend saying she's making y'all relationship look bad she's embarrassing you blah 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 now let me tell you she was on the phone see i wish she was here for shit like this because she was on the phone with me like why are they tripping more than i am i mean that's not what she said specifically but like people that are in a relationship with me are uh, tripping harder than the person i'm in a relationship it's crazy with. Do you get what i'm trying to say yes i don't get how i understand it, like you could be so mad about what I'm doing in my relationship, even though my girlfriend didn't care, but it's not Bam. And I'm not with you. I know Bam. I'm just my girlfriend. And what makes it even worse when is when your partner doesn't give a fuck about what you're doing, but other people make it worse than what it is, and they start putting shit in their ear, and then eventually they start to believe it. That's even worse. That's even worse. But your partner should be able to trust you and believe in you first. Loyalty is to your partner, not to all these outsiders. I know what she allows and what she doesn't allow. And if I felt like she Bam. allowed that, Bam. I wouldn't have done it. Therefore, That's all that matters. You have to respect your partner. If your partner is okay with certain things and you are disrespecting her, then so be it. Who gives a fuck if other people think it's disrespectful? They ain't with you. Well, I knew she wouldn't care, so I did it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So I want to talk about something because <laughs> apparently my girlfriend's cheating on me. And that is so, like, apparently my girlfriend's cheating on me and apparently we broke up. So whoever <laughs> said these things, that's all I got to say. And it's a big fuck you. It's not a tiny one. It's a big one. Me and Jamila <laughs> have never said anything on social media about us breaking up. One. We're gonna talk about the breakup first. We never broke up. I've had family members, friends text me like, "Did I <laughs> broke up?" Why? One, if if we broke up, y'all wouldn't even know. For real. Know this. If y'all did know, y'all wouldn't know until not right away. Like, right. <laughs> you have fans and supporters. They automatically believe that you have to let them know when you break up with your girl. It's crazy that they feel like they're in the relationship with you. It's. Fucking nonsense. I'm gonna just like same day be like make a video like oh guys we broke up. No, first of all we didn't break <laughs> up. I don't know who said this, but one fucking channel. Oh. One channel. Oh. I don't know what channel because I don't I don't watch stuff like that. Only reason I know about it is because people keep fucking asking me. One channel said something and then every other channel started like talking about it and like putting all. It's funny because like 10, 10 different channels will all say the same exact thing because they all only have one thing to go off of which I think is pretty fucking whack but. Not me. Thank you very much. I have not commented on the situation till just now. Because frankly, I know that that shit was fake. It's obvious when people uh, clickbait and use their thumbnails to make something more dramatic than what it is. Because I do that. That's what YouTubers do. You know what's real and what's fake. So I don't even click onto those videos. 
But it is what it is these days on social media, I guess. That's how they make their money off me. <laughs> that like, I don't- Hey, don't hate on them making their money though. Just like they just like they can't hate on you for making yours. Oh, I, me and Jamila have never said anything like that. I don't know why anybody thinks that. Maybe, maybe people think that because I be posting shit a lot. But I be posting shit just in general. And I know probably like dumbass bitches be saying that. Like you know how some dumb people like people in relationships <laughs> that want to get out but don't. Or like, I don't like, they, you know, like they're like on and off all the time. Like they always like post like these depressing ass shit. No, I post it genuinely just to. You're talking about people who are unhappy with their situation that's why they judge off of yours or people who don't even have a partner to talk to don't even have a partner that they that they're emotionally connected with so they judge off yours it's called being jealous these are jealous people these are people who are living their lives in misery and misery loves company so if they're miserable you have to be miserable with them that's that's the situation okay and I know this firsthand because of personal experience to be in general like I'm not saying anything that pertains to my relationship and I would never post anything like that because I'm just not that type of person I'm not <laughs> going to run to social media I don't need validation from any body facts and I don't need anybody in my business besides what the happy stuff is me and Jamila ain't perfect no relationship on YouTube is perfect nobody okay? but not everybody's gonna go to social media and talk about all their business like that and it's not up so I mean I, that's the only reason I can think people are saying something is because I be posting stuff all the time y'all still see her on my snap y'all still see her I on know. my social media it's people everybody oh dumb. there was another thing people wanted to say because I deleted my all my pictures off my Instagram since I'm on video i'm going to say it again even though i've said it probably three times already because people keep asking me why i deleted them or if we broke up because i deleted my picture it's just like really sad to me that people determine pictures not even that but it, it's just sad that people like validate a relationship off of pictures one off of pictures and video do you really think we're gonna put our negative business out there no Everything that's negative needs to be clo needs to be behind closed doors. That's between the two people in the relationship to work on those things. Outside influence is only going to make it worse. So you don't you're not supposed to put all the details of the struggle and the and the troubles that you're going through out there. There's nothing wrong with people just showing the happy things. People automatically believe that that's being fake. No, bitch, that ain't being fake. It is what it is. These are happy moments and we're posting it out there. The negative stuff, that's between your partner and yourself. Only y'all can work on that stuff. But these outsiders, boy, a bunch of haters, y'all. I didn't just delete all of our pictures. I deleted all of my pictures. Except for the two that I had to keep up because they were promotions. I don't know. And then I started over, so there's some on there now. But I literally deleted all my pictures. At first, I wasn't going to delete all of them. I was only going to delete the ones that I didn't like. But I'm like, you know what? I want to start over. I don't know why, like, me deleting pictures means anything to people. Like, I can delete pictures if I want and still be <laughs> at the crib with her chilling, like, enjoying our life. I don't get why me deleting pictures means that we broke up. It's when next I'm gonna talk about the whole cheating thing because oh my goodness. Let's talk about it. Sip. I'm just gonna say loud and clear one more time. I have not watched any video that has to do with me. I have not watched any video that has to do with me since December, January of well, December of 2018 or January of 2019. Legit have not sat down, I have not skimmed through, I have not looked up my name or nothing. Good for you. That's actually a smart move by you because it's healthy for your mental. If you keep watching all these damn YouTubers reacting to you and your situation and talking nothing but negativity and judging your situation, it's only gonna fuck with your head. You're human. I don't, get, I don't care what anybody has to say. All, there's a lot of YouTubers out here that pretend and act like they don't give a fuck and like it doesn't hurt their feelings. Get out of here. You're human. You have feelings. You're gonna feel a certain way sometimes. Maybe not all the time. Some people have thicker skin than, than others. But that's just the situation. So good for you for not watching all that garbage. 
since then. Or there was one thing. There was one video, but that, I don't know when that was. But that was one time, and I didn't even watch the whole thing. I did skim through that. Not even gonna bullshit. Other than that, I don't look up myself. Just for the simple fact, because when I look up myself, it's either my pretty face pops up, or my <laughs> pretty face pops up on other people's channels talking shit. I just really don't do it. <laughs> I have found out from my girlfriend, people think that she is cheating on me with one of her very close friends, which happens to be a girly. So this is what blows the fuck out of me. <laughs> Jamila can have friends. I don't I don't have a problem. I've never had a problem with her having any type of friend. Girly girl, masculine. Good man, for you, see, bitch. I don't care. Good like, for as you. As long as the respect is there, just That's what's a up. regular friendship, then Bam. that is fine. I do not care. I have yet to tell her to cut anybody off just because of me trying to i don't even know how they call it but you know a lot of relationships are like that like they won't let their like masculine girlfriends have girly girlfriends because uh -huh. it's like a threat so that's what i take it as Facts. i don't think it's insecurities a lot of women have insecurities everybody has insecurities but most women are afraid to lose their partner that's why they don't allow them to have friends and and i and especially studs okay for example and this is just an example this is not factual or what or what have you so don't look too deep into it i'm a stud i'm a lesbian stud woman right i dress in men's clothing i'm married okay married been with my wife for five years my heart my mind my soul is only for my wife okay so anybody that i become friends with or that i talk to is nothing but that friends and people I talk to. But for some reason, people believe that because I wear men's clothing that I cannot be friends with feminine women. Why the fuck? <laughs> Why can I not be friends with feminine women if I'm a woman my damn self? Does that make any sense to you? Does that make any sense to you? No. But a feminine lesbian woman it's okay for them to have feminine women as friends, right? It's okay for them, but why if she is also a lesbian woman? Just like me, I'm a lesbian woman. Does that mean I'm gonna go fuck anybody out there in the streets? I ain't no hoe, okay? I mean, I'm just saying. By the end of the day, what, what I wear, what clothes I wear, and how short my hair is, should not define me as a person who's gonna step out of my relationship with a feminine woman, period, point blank. No, I'm allowed to have friends. Just saying, I don't know, people have, are closed-minded and I just don't understand that way of thinking. No bitch is a threat unless my girlfriend disrespects me. So Bam. that's, that's the only time. She can have female friends all she wants. She has been out in public with her cousins back in Indiana and people were like talking shit and saying like they're finna snitch and da 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 when those are her whole cousins. So like just because <laughs> Stupid, you see one of us cause I mean I don't really Stupid. Know, but um, if you ever see one of us with anybody else, you can't just assume off the top of your head that they're cheating. That's one. crazy. Two, this friend, she has been friends with since high school. I don't know, like sophomore, junior year, I don't remember. They've been friends for a very long time. I've been around this girl multiple times. We all went to Vegas and was lit as fuck. Just because you don't see somebody often doesn't mean that one of, first of all, they're new in somebody's life, or two, that they're fucking with them. Preach like, it, girl. I don't Preach know. I it. Don't <coughs> I've been best friends with a friend of mine for 19 years. She is a feminine, straight woman, okay? And a beautiful woman at that. I'm gay. She's straight. She's feminine. I'm, I'm I don't even want to say masculine because I'm feminine. Like, y'all know. Y'all see me do my hand mannerisms and shit like that. And I'm a sensitive, emotional person. So I'm pretty feminine. I just wear men's clothes. People automatically assume, like when we used to go, she's gone by the way, she passed away a couple years ago. But every time we went out, people automatically assumed that we were together. Just because I'm a stud and she's a femme. Like what the fuck is wrong with these people? I've been with this, I've been this, I've been friends with this person for 19 years. Never have I ever looked at her in that way. Never have I ever kissed her. Never have I ever found her attractive in that way. Pretty girl, but not like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just so weird, y'all. Like, people need to stop thinking, having such a narrow-sided mind.
don't get it. Like, why does Jamila have to be cheating on me? Jamila could go do whatever she wants. She was at that the picture that everybody wanted to like go off on. I don't. They were at a party. Like, Jamila went to a party with her friends. Can she do that? Do I have to be there 24/7? And I'm telling. This is exactly what i was talking about y'all look at our relationship and try to turn it into yours basically mm, is what best. you're trying to do you're trying Preacher, to say girl. she can't do this because this is what i would do in a relationship uh, no she can do whatever the fuck she wants she'd go out with her friends most of the time i'm with her like we don't have to be with each other 24 7 we live in the same house together there's no point for us to be with each other 24 7 we both want space sometimes we both want time apart and that's okay that is our relationship that is what we do and that's what we're going to continue to do but my thing is is why is everybody on Jamila's ass about having a girly girl friend because if she were to ever bring a girly girl on her channel I already know y'all would just start talking shit if and you know what's so funny if that girly girl was in the video with men's clothes on and pretend and pretend you know what I think okay I'm gonna put this idea out there for all these youtubers any youtubers that are watching my video I'm not gonna do it but here's an idea it just popped in my head do an experiment. Do You know how people are doing all these social experiments? Do this experiment. If you're a stud, and if you're like um, the one of the most popular YouTubers, Mila, Mila, try this, Mila. <laughs> okay, <laughs> try doing this. Okay, putting pictures out there with your feminine friend, people made it such a big fucking deal, right? Now go out there and post pictures of you and a, and, um, a stud, okay? With your arm around that stud too, right? and put those, post those pictures out there. Let's see what kind of engagement occurs when they, when they see that picture. Do you really think it's gonna be the same type of reaction like the other picture? Because I can tell you right now, it's not going to be. It wouldn't be such a big deal if that girl was a stud. Even though I'm right there, not giving you <laughs> up. No one ever says shit about me, and I'm just saying, and I told you Mila this, I'm like, why does no one, everybody, like, why does no one ever say shit about me? I have so many masculine friends. I have so many girly girl friends. This is my thing, and I'm just getting a little deep, because why the fuck not? Because this, this is like really starting to just blow the fuck out of me, because everybody wants us to end so fucking bad, but it's not going to happen. People's rules, especially in a lesbian relationship, now I'm not saying everybody, but there are some people out there that do not like their masculine girlfriends to be friends with girly girls. Why? I say they consider them a threat, or maybe it's because they know that that's what they're attracted to. I don't, I don't know, I don't get it. I want somebody to tell me in the comments, because I know there's a bunch of people out there, like, what's your reasoning? Because I'm confused uh, myself, mm. I don't want to assume, but I'm going to assume right now because I have nothing else to go off of. I'm assuming it's because of what they, that's, you know that that's what they're attracted to, they're attracted to girly girls, so, whatever. I'm attracted to females, like, I don't care what they look you like. You know? I have plenty of girly girl friends, masculine friends, straight friends, bisexual friends, gay friends, trans friends. Like, I have so many different friends and my girlfriend has never told me from anybody that I could not talk to them because of what they look like or what uh. they're attracted to. So therefore, I'm going to have the same respect for her. Good for you. that's what we do in our relationship. Good, guys. You know why? Because y'all trust each other. I trust my wife. She is attracted to all kinds of women. Stud, femme, stem, all kinds of women. My woman is an extrovert. I'm total opposite. I'm an introvert. But this woman is a social butterfly. She needs to be around people and she needs to talk people. That's talk to people. That's how she gets her energy. And I'm okay with that. She always be meeting random ass people from off the streets. That's just how she, that's just who she is. And these girls that she talks to are very beautiful, very, very pretty. And I am okay with it. There is nothing wrong with it. If she posts pictures with her friends, I don't give a fuck. Those are her friends. And check this out on Facebook. I posted one picture of me and my best friend of 19 years. And mind you, I don't post many pictures. I probably post a good one or two pictures a year, okay? I posted a picture of me and my best friend. Oh my God, let me tell you. People were on my shit, yo. People were telling my wife to be careful. To be careful with her, like why is she posting a picture with that girl? Can you believe that shit? I can't be friends with nobody. If the girl is pretty, I can't be friends with her. Mind you, I've been friends with this girl when I was a fucking teenager in high school. Ain't nobody gonna tell me I can't be friends with whoever I wanna be friends with. What the fuck? Y'all must be tripping. 
it's just what we're going to continue to do and nobody can tell us different no one is going to alter my brain uh. i can't speak for my girlfriend no one is going to alter my brain to think otherwise no one can do it and they won't i think that's all i have to say about that situation i <laughs> She's not cheating on me. I don't know what else was said, but all I know is that she is not cheating on me. That's just what it is. If y'all want to believe she's cheating on me, that's fine. If y'all want to <coughs> make your videos about her cheating on me, that's fine. I'm flattered at this point that people legit dedicate their page to YouTubers and talking shit about them. That's okay. That's all I have to say. So what? Well, let them make their money. Everybody that has been supporting me from day one until now. Even if you are new and you support me. If it was not for you guys, I mean, it's, it's, it's if it wasn't for the people that don't like me either that's apparently. what i'm saying if it wasn't for you guys i just wouldn't be in any situation that i am in now and i really appreciate you guys no matter what i'm going to be here and i'm going to be smiling making content for you guys and yeah i love you guys so much i do have merch link is down below i do have a sims channel that is i'm also in a very happy relationship and i am loving it every single day so any of you that do not like it can suck my dick yeah, i really enjoy <laughs> ranting about stuff because you know i try my hardest to not say anything but i was like you know it's a new year a new me i don't give a fuck i don't care what anybody says anymore which i really Good. have not like Good. i know a lot of people that say that but then behind closed doors be boohoo crying but that has not been me this year bitch i'm a whole new bitch that's because you haven't been watching the videos which is really good and smart and i'm out here living my best life i'm super appreciative of all of you guys of everybody that has been supporting me since day one till now anybody that has simply just sat here and been there for me had my back i just appreciate you so much and thank you thank you guys so much for watching the video thank you guys so much for watching the video give this video a thumbs up and you can follow all my social media it's gonna be on the screen you can also blah 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 blah, blah, blah. Hey, Chrissy, you did not bore me this time. I actually enjoyed this video. Obviously, you can tell I was very passionate about the subject. So thank you so much for that video, girl. You finally came out with a good one. You finally spoke on the situation, and I think you spoke well. You explained yourself clearly, and I'm with you 100%. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.